So the Congressional Art Competition is a, a competition that's been around uh, a long time and it uh, allows high school students to submit art and one winner from every congressional district has their piece of art hang in the Capitol um, every year for a year. There are 435 congressional districts in the country. We had um, 265 pieces of art from um, 27 schools in seven counties at our art competition this year. Oh my goodness. Uh, how many art submissions did we get this year? Oh, I mean over 200 from uh, dozens of different schools. So we have some Columbus schools, we have some suburban schools north of Columbus, east of Columbus. Uh, we go up all the way to Mansfield. We go out to Zanesville on the eastern side. So we have a pretty diverse collection of, of school districts that have participated in seven counties in the district. We have artwork from some 19 schools in my district, so from the Columbus School District to Whitehall to Reynoldsburg to uh, Grove City. So we have 29 municipalities. I can tell you we have 184 pieces of artwork. It's the largest number of artwork that we've had in the time that I've been in Congress. Uh, Joyce Beatty and Pat T. Berry and I do our competition together. That's something that we've worked really hard to uh, do it as a community and do it at the Columbus Museum of Art so that these high school students that are building portfolios and might want to be artists can say, I had a piece of art displayed at the Columbus Museum of Art. I mean, how cool is that when you're in high school? And we're going to announce the winners tonight. Our first place winner, piece of title of the bell, Amanda Baugh, a senior at Old Tangy Warren High School. The first place artwork is titled Reflections, and the artist is Cassidy Boyer. My work was called Reflections, and it was a pencil drawing. Uh, I just used graphite, and it's two portraits, and I guess they're overlapping, so four portraits maybe, of uh, two different people that I know, and I just tried to capture different emotions in each of the portrait. I really like drawing, um, and I'm trying to experiment a little bit more with painting. I do a lot with watercolor, but I just think drawing is very calming and relaxing, and so it's easy to just zone out while you're doing it and think about other things, and that's really nice. It's almost like a meditation kind of thing. My dad's actually in graphic design, and then my grandfather's an architect, so it's kind of like a family thing. It's, there are a lot of people in my family who do something with art. So I've always known it's kind of something that I want to do too. The first place winner has an incredible opportunity. Their portrait will be flown to Washington, D.C. It will hang in the United States Capitol. They will actually get to come to Washington with their sponsor or parent or grandparent and go through a thank you program from the White House and spend the whole day in Washington. But it's a great way to really highlight the work of these young, incredibly talented artists. I think the arts is so important in education because it spurs creativity, it makes the young, talented students focus on releasing their artistic capacity through several mediums of art. So whether you're doing charcoal or paint or photography, it's all a part of your vision and your imagination. And I think it should be included in every public educational curriculum. We're so excited for Cassidy. She's a great artist, and uh, I hope everybody will come to Washington and see her piece of art hanging in the Capitol.